Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. Let's say you got a kick and it's not really sitting right in your mix or it's not really fat enough. I'm gonna show you how to use the signal generator in Pro Tools 8 to really fatten up those kicks. Now this technique, you can use it in any software that you use. So let's check it out. So what you wanna do first is create a new audio track, shift command N, mono, new track. And I'm gonna drag it up right below my kick. Okay, so I'm working in grid mode with a 1 16th note grid value. And so this is so I can make like precise selections. So one way to do this is you can highlight the area the same length as your kick, as you can see I did right there. And then you go to the audio suite plugins, then go to other and then signal generator. And what you want to use is 60 to 70 hertz frequency and you want to use a sine wave because it's very pure sounding and it goes good with the kicks i'll preview it now if you use a square wave you know it's kind of too much it's probably going to take away from your kick sound so you want to keep the sine wave and then just hit process so now i have a 60 hertz sine wave that's the exact length of my kick so it goes with it perfect and I'll play them together. So you kind of hear it, you know, after the kick hit is done. So what you might want to do is throw a little fade in there just to make it sound more natural. Okay. And then what you can do is just highlight the area of that kick, hold down options, and then drag it to duplicate it you know, if you use the same sized kick sample throughout your whole track, it'll be very easy to do that. Or you can highlight the area and then Command D to duplicate it and then drag it out to the next one. So that's one way to do it. But like for this track, I have different sized samples for that kick. So it's gonna be a little tedious to try to get everything perfect. So another thing you could do is you can highlight one bar and do the same thing. Go back to the audio suite, other, and signal generator, and then 60 hertz, sine wave, process, and now you have one bar, so you can hit command D and duplicate that across your whole track there. Then what you wanna do is on the kick, you wanna go to your sends, choose a bus you're not using, I'm gonna choose bus one, choose a mono bus, because it's a mono sound source, Unless you have a stereo source, then bus one and two or three and four, whatever. Then go to that sine wave track and you want to instantiate a gate plugin on it. Expand the gate. Then you want to go to the key input and choose that corresponding bus. So bus one and then enable the sidechain. So now that kick is going to trigger this gate to open and let that sine wave in. So let's play it. So, you know, you could play with the parameters and lower down the hold so, you know, that sine wave doesn't last too long after the kick hit is done. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Then another way to do it is create a new track. Shift Command N for new track, mono, create. And then instantiate the signal generator on that track. So I'm going to mute it because you don't want to hear that. Choose 60 hertz again, sine wave. And then you want to put the gate plugin right after the signal generator plugin. And you want to do the same thing. Go to the key input. Choose that bus, bus 1. That was on the kick. And then enable the sidechain. So I'll solo these two up. So, you know, I exaggerated it a little bit so you can hear it. But as you can see, the sound is still coming in very low. So this could be a problem in your track. You know, you might have like that 60 hertz hum there. So what you might have to do is go in there 
and do some muting some mute automation after those kick hits which could be tedious as well so you know it just depends on how you like to work and you know with the signal generator on a track you could also do like crazy stuff add plugins to it you know different effects to make it sound weird you know i'll just add this here just so you can hear it so you hear that you know you could add you know you could do some things like that just to get crazy with it 